Hey y'all, it's Jeff Wiseman with Jeff Wiseman Electric. Happy New Year 2016. And I got a new toy for Christmas. It is an infrared thermometer. They're about $15 on Amazon. And the way they work is they got a little laser that you point at things and it tells you the temperature on here. And this is going to give me a real good opportunity to show you and demonstrate to you how inefficient incandescent or halogen lighting is compared to LED lighting. And what we're going to do is, in my kitchen here, I've got six uh, recess cans, 75 watt halogen bulbs in five of them, and one of them has got a new max light LED bulb like this in it. And all the other fiber, I'm still using the halogens because my ceilings are 22 or more feet high. So when I change the bulbs, I wanna make sure I'm changing them to the right thing because I only wanna get up there one time on my 12 foot ladder. <laughs> so, uh, let's first set some baselines to demonstrate that the $15 laser thermometer is somewhat decent. So I'm going to shoot my countertop here in the kitchen at 72 degrees. So room temperature is about 72. My cabinets, 72 degrees. My floors, which is not going to be a good thing because it's radiant heat, is at 75 degrees. So that's our baseline. To show you if this is working properly, I'm going to shoot my refrigerator. Doors at 44, and the inside back of it is at 40 degrees. My, let's, let's see, my beer. It's saying 44 degrees. The thermometer inside the refrigerator says it's 35, so it's not exactly accurate, obviously. And we'll shoot the freezer. Freezer showing minus one degree there, and minus four degrees there. Ah. And the thermometer gauge readout in the refrigerator says the freezer is minus two degrees. So that's pretty accurate. Refrigerator might be that warm on purpose because I had the door open because I was cleaning it. I didn't want to show you a sloppy refrigerator when I opened it up. So we got a baseline set. So now, first off, I've had these recess cans on for a couple of hours. So they're at full operating temperature. Realize heat rises with tall ceilings. Realize this is Park City, Utah, and I've got maybe a foot of snow on the roof, which is directly above my slope ceiling. This is what the cans look like. It's a, it's a cedar paneled roof. So I'm gonna first shoot the cedar wood up there so you can see right there I've got a 71 degree temperature and at the very peak I'm at 71 degrees so that's a pretty good ambient room temperature. Okay so I want to shoot the halogen bulbs first and so I can make sure I'm getting an accurate laser pointing on it. I'm going to Turn the lights off, just so I can nail it exactly. There we go. So now I'm right in dead center of the bowl. I'm at 124 degrees. And now I'm gonna shoot the LED, dead center on the LED. I'm at 84 and a half degrees. Now we know that the LED bulb is operating at about 10 degrees 
above room temperature so it's really not putting out any noticeable amount of, hot, of heat whereas the halogen is putting out 125 degrees of heat in a 70 something room ambient temperature it's a lot of wasted energy that you're paying for for halogen bulbs 124 degrees of heat versus 84 whole well, 40 degrees hotter per bulb wasted energy halogen bulb is 75 watts and that LED is 12 watts multiply that times 6 for this one room and then you multiply that times, I think my total house has over, has almost 90 recessed cans. It's a lot of wasted energy that you're paying for. It's a lot of heat you're putting out when you're trying to keep your house cool during the summer. And during the winter, it's an inefficient way of heating your house. If you need heat in your house, turn that thermostat up. If you need light, Hit that wall switch, turn the dimmer up. I hope this showed you something and proved to you to get rid of these halogen bulbs. Get some LEDs. You pick your brand, you pick your style, and pick your color. Everybody's different. There's a lot of choices on the market today, but there's no reason to wait any longer to upgrade to LED lighting. It's Jeff Wiseman Electric in Park City. Happy New Year. Please subscribe, leave comments below. See ya.